As families across America are preparing to celebrate Independence Day, yesterday's ruling from the Supreme Court has some casting doubt on whether democracy as we know it will survive. In a 6-3 ruling, the high court determined the president has immunity from criminal charges if he is conducting an official act. 10 on your side spoke with a Democratic congressman from Virginia and a spokesperson for the Republican National Committee. Stolen is the word President Donald Trump uses to describe Joe Biden's presidential win. A mob in agreement storms the Capitol as fake electors are on standby. The criminal charges that followed January 6 prompted the high court to weigh in. It said presidential power requires that a former president have some immunity from criminal prosecution. Democratic Congressman Bobby Scott represents citizens from the south side to the peninsula. The uh, decision on presidential immunity was stunning. It just suggests that some people are above the law. Uh, all the presidents before thought that they were subject to the law. A surrogate for the chairman of the Republican National Committee says the high court's ruling is a victory for the separation of power. The decision yesterday does not put the president of the United States, whoever that might be, above the law. What the opinion yesterday actually said is absolute immunity is the law or presumptive immunity is the law. And says town, don't believe the hype. Does the ruling from the Supreme Court mean that a president, for example, could call in SEAL Team 6 to assassinate an, op an opponent? Where in the Constitution does it give the commander-in-chief the power to assassinate a political opponent? It's an absurd sort of uh, uh, example. Uh, of stretching immunity. With constituents by his side, Congressman Scott said the checks and balances will hold as long as a criminal doesn't hold the office of the presidency. Richard Nixon would have uh, never suffered through Watergate if he had had this kind of immunity. Uh, so um, uh, we'd hope that going forward we'll correct this. Uh, but uh, so long as we don't elect a criminal, um, I don't think it'll make much difference. The former president is seeking to have the verdict in the hush money case set aside in light of the Supreme Court ruling. The ruling makes it unlikely the J6 case will be heard before Election Day. Well, the ruling is the topic of our Wavy.com poll. We want to know, do you agree with the Supreme Court's ruling on immunity? Right now, 59% say no. Head to Wavy.com slash poll to cast your vote.